the subject of fashion is rarely far from our front pages. But whether it's controversies like models' waistlines and sweatshops, or the more positive impact that some outlets are having, there are always sure to be both winners and losers. And with an annual value of $1.5 trillion in sales, more than the entire GDP of countries like Spain and Australia, the fashion industry is also the source of more than 200 of the world's billionaires. So who are the real beneficiaries of this fast-growing trend? How did fashion once produce the very short-lived richest person in the world? And which unlikely brands helped comprise our top five? Here's how it happened. Opening up our list at number 5 is Tadashi Yanai. Officially the richest man in Japan, Yanai is best known as the founder of fast retailing, the parent company of clothing brand Uniqlo, which has generated him a fortune of around $40 billion. Yanai inherited a younger version of his company from his father in the 1980s, changed the name to Unique Clothing, and a typo in its abbreviation led to the name we all know today. The business has since been transformed into a global powerhouse, boasting over 2,000 stores in more than 20 different countries. In 1997, Yanai chose to adopt a private label strategy, whereby Uniqlo would produce all of its own apparel and sell their own products exclusively. The tactic clearly paid off, as Uniqlo has become the go-to brand for year-round wardrobe staples, especially in Asia. Yanai himself likes to work hard and play hard. His net worth includes two golf courses in Hawaii. He was also a board member at SoftBank for 18 years, until recently stepping down to focus on turning Uniqlo into the single biggest clothing retail company in the world. Coming in at fourth place is Frenchman François-Henri Pinot, leader of luxury group Kering and its parent, Artemis. Kering, of which Pinot is president, was founded by his father as a humble timber trading company. Pinot Jr. joined the company in 1987, by which time it had pivoted to focus on retail and distribution. During the 90s, the family business acquired a host of French firms, including Fnac and La Redoute, slowly inching nearer the luxury fashion industry before eventually acquiring the likes of Gucci, Yves Saint Laurent, and Balenciaga. Parent company Artemis also controls auction house Christie's, French news magazine Le Point, and cruise operator Ponant. All of these assets bring Pinot's wealth to an estimated $44 billion, which he shares with his Hollywood star wife, Salma Hayek, whom he married in 2009. Our third spot takes us to North America with Nike co-founder Phil Knight. A former track athlete himself, Knight was a certified public accountant before developing the world's best-known sportswear brand. His search for the ultimate running shoe took him as far as Japan during the 1960s, harnessing the advanced Asian technology to sell his first stock from the trunk of his car at track meets up and down the Pacific Northwest. Fast forward 50 years and the Nike swoosh has become one of the most recognizable logos in the world, having adorned the jerseys of superstars like Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Knight has also become known for his philanthropy, donating more than $2 billion to his former educational institutions, still hardly making a dent in his net worth, which is estimated to be in the region of $50 billion. In the silver medal position, we have Amancio Ortega, the co-founder of Spanish fashion group Inditex. Ortega is famous for keeping a notoriously low profile but that's not stopped his brands like Pull and Bear, Bershka, and Massimo Dutti from becoming household names. His empire began with a single Zara store in the city of La Coruña, which used the very latest technology to develop the fastest design, production, and distribution processes in the industry. Ortega owns a 60% majority share of the Inditex group, which extends to more than 7,000 worldwide stores in nearly 100 countries. Including their online sales, their products are now available in more than 200 markets and bring Ortega a fortune totaling $73 billion. And in first place, we have another French entry, Bernard Arnault, chairman of Dior and CEO of Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton, commonly known as LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company. Aside from the obvious, the group's subsidiaries in the fashion industry include Fendi, Marc Jacobs, and Givenchy, as well as over a dozen more. But the corporation's luxury products are not only limited to fashion. LVMH also owns jewellery and watchmakers like Tag Heuer and Bulgari, 
financial newspaper Les Eco, hotel chain Belmond, and champagne brands Dom Perignon, Moet, and Verve Clicquot. This list hardly scratches the surface of Monsieur Arnaud's reach, but gives an indication of the number of industries in which his companies operate. For a very brief period in January 2020, he even overtook Jeff Bezos to become the richest man in the world, as his fortune surpassed $100 billion. And that's how it happened. Let us know which top five you'd like to see next. And thanks for watching.